Let's imagine what doll makeup looks like. Miniature makeup for a small doll and giant makeup for a big doll. Do you want doll makeup of your own? Then watch our new video with Minnie and Maxi Makeup Ideas. This is Sandra and her favorite doll. She loves playing with it and can spend the entire day like this and fall asleep with it. But real magic happens while Sandra is asleep. Her favorite doll comes to life and she brings along a gift for the girl. This is Giant Face Powder. Attach an enlarged face powder title and a logo to a lid of a big round box. Cover the edge with black acrylic paint. Let's prepare the face powder. Take some powdered sugar and add some cocoa powder. Mix it, the more cocoa, the darker the face powder, and vice versa. And put it into the box. Magic outside of Hogwarts. The doll has come to life, and with it, the face powder she has brought appears to be edible. Sweet and delicious. You can eat it with a spoon straight from the container. We are not going to get hungry with this face powder. Sandra wants to arrange a photo shoot for her doll. Only a hat is missing to create a perfect image. And a cooling drink. Excellent! Now we just have to fix eyelashes. Sandra has special doll mascara. Cover a plastic tube with light clay. Shape it into a mascara tube. Take some bristles out of a spoolie brush. Cut off a piece of a plastic stick and hot glue the mini spoolie brush to the stick. Paint it black using nail polish. Cut the clay so that the cap can be taken off. Cover the visible part of the tube with black nail polish. Hot glue the spoolie brush to the cap and add a mini logo. We fix the doll's makeup. Her lashes become longer at once. Although, how can they be any longer? The doll face is so cute. I hurry up to take a picture of it with my camera. My doll should make a separate Instagram account about her everyday doll life. Sandra teaches her living doll how to walk and it makes progress. A bit more practice and she will be able to walk wearing high heels. Sandra tries so hard that she sweats. It's great that the doll has a mini face powder. Sandra can fix a slight makeup mishap at once. Put loose powder in a used clean eyeshadow container. Remove the excess with a Q-tip. Add a few drops of rubbing alcohol and compact the powder with a cotton pad. Hot glue a piece of satin ribbon to a small makeup sponge and use double-sided tape to attach a label to the cap. Cut out foil to be of the same size as the container and attach it to the inside as a mirror. Put in a small powder puff. A few movements and the skin tone is perfect. The mini powder puff will get into all the hard to get places. And don't forget to fix the doll's makeup. She needs it too. Playing with a big living doll is way more interesting. Let's arrange a beauty salon. I just happen to have a moisturizing face mask. And there's a special mini version for a doll face. Draw a face mask silhouette on white felt. Cut it out. Cover a clean pot with nail polish and fill it with ready-made face mask. Attach a label. Put the felt mask sheet into a package and hot glue it. Put on the mask and sit back. But there is one problem. The mini mask is made for a little doll face. A living doll can only put it onto her cheek or nose. Once we moisturize the skin nicely, we move on to the makeup base. Regular one for me and a special mini version for the doll. The base can moisturize even plastic skin. Snip off the edge of a small used makeup tube and clean it. Squeeze in makeup base. Seal the cut with hot glue. Color the tube with acrylic paint. Attach a small label and cover it with clear nail polish. 
The doll applies the makeup base to her face. The effect is instant. The skin looks better and fresher. It is crystal clear that our doll is made of eco-friendly materials. I show the city to my doll. Mmm, a superb scent. This is the perfume of my living doll friend. It smells so good. The doll shows me what she uses. This is real doll perfume. Take a mini perfume bottle with a cork. Cut off a plastic stick off a perfume sample cap. Make a hole in the cork with a toothpick and glue the stick. Pour the perfume into a container. Fill a dropper with it and pour it into the bottle. Super glue the crystal to the cork. And tape a mini label to the perfume vial. I enjoy the scent. The doll is going to see the world on its own while I am distracted with the perfume. Oops! It seems I've lost it. Where are you? The doll is nowhere to be seen. I hope it hasn't been kidnapped. Nobody pays attention to a living doll. How should she find her human friend? A huge eyeshadow palette should definitely attract the attention of my fashionable owner. Attach big carton pieces and a strip between them to a big white piece of paper so that you get a cover. Fold the edges of the paper inside and fasten them with double-sided tape. Cover one inside part with the paper and fold up the cover. Score the bending lines with a ruler. Cut out a big makeup palette title. Attach the letters to the cover. Paint the spine red. Attach a rectangular piece of silver cardboard to the inside. It will be a mirror. Add the name of the makeup as the one in the original package. Attach white paper to a rectangular piece of thin foam plastic. Cut circles and squares out of colored foam rubber sheets. Attach them to the foam plastic. Imitate eyeshadow. Tape the palette to the cover. The doll is perplexed. The eyeshadow palette is so noticeable and beautiful. But no passerbys are interested in it. Except for this lovely girl. She sees the living doll with a big makeup palette in her hands. Any girl can dream of such a palette. How can you be so sad when you've got a makeup treasure in your hands? This palette is awesome! The doll sees how much its new friend likes the eyeshadow palette. Well, I've got a present for her. I will give her my doll eyeshadow for being kind to me. Trace a small box on a sheet of a thin rubber sponge. Cut out two details and two strips. Hot glue the rubber sponge to the inside of the box. Put the eyeshadow from a broken palette into an empty clean pill blister pack. Add a few drops of rubbing alcohol into each pocket and press it to compact the makeup. Paint the pill blister pack with black nail polish. Paint the rubber sponge and the outside of the box as well. Make a mini applicator out of a small toothpick and cut applicator pads. Paint it black. Hot glue the palette into the box. Cover a logo with clear tape and fasten it to the cap. The girl is excited when she sees the mini makeup. This baby eyeshadow palette is very compact and bright. For the real doll makeup, I want to thank my new friend for this gift. I suggest going for a walk, but beware of a garden sprinkler. It's not a good time to take a shower, and water is no good for a doll. I give some cotton candy to the doll to cheer her up. The doll has never tasted this strange dessert. Mmm, it's so delicious. Our tongues have become blue after eating the colored cotton candy. We are having fun, but my lipstick smudged away. Still, the permanent doll makeup is safe and sound, as always. The doll knows how to help me. A giant lip tint. Wow, I'm afraid it's too big, even for a human. Cut an empty body lotion tube. Clean it from the inside. Put it between two sheets of parchment paper and seal the cut with an iron. Paint the tube bright. And spray it with clear lacquer. Attach an enlarged lip tint label. Put in lip gloss using a syringe. This gloss is perfect for me. Thank you, doll. 
Now, my lips are bright and glossy. Did you like our doll makeup? Then write in your comments which makeup product you liked the most. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new magical videos on the Troom Troom channel.